Okay everyone, Uniswap V3 just came out and I'm going to teach you how to set what is essentially a limit order on the brand new Uniswap V3, which could be huge for trading any coin you want. Now, when we say uh, limit orders on Uniswap V3, there's no actual button to, you know, set a limit order. And, you know, just let's take a step back. What is a limit order if you're brand new to trading? A limit order is where you specify a price that you want to buy a token at. And only if the price goes below or at that level, you execute the order. So if the price of hex, let's say, is three cents, but I only want to buy at two cents, I can set a limit order so that when the limit of two pennies is reached, I will all of a sudden execute that order and make that order. It's a good way to it's a good way to plan ahead when you're trading or if you want to be cautious before getting in. And it is a good way to kind of protect the price as well. If we have a bunch of people with limit orders, if we have a bunch of people with limit orders along the way, on the way up of something, for example, the hex token, um, it's, it could be very good for the price. And also one of the advantages to doing a limit order on Uniswap V3 is that you actually get paid because you are the liquidity provider, essentially. So look on the, the front page right here. It looks a little bit different. This is Uniswap V3. It looks a little different than V2, and obviously it's pretty much the same. You can uh, select whatever token you want to exchange for each other, and you know, just do whatever you want on there. Now there's not a whole lot of liquidity right, right now at the moment on V3, but there is a little bit. As you can see, there's enough for me to make this transaction of uh, half of an ETH, but you'll notice there's no liquidity button or anything explicit, right? So we're gonna click on the pool icon on the top instead. So click that, and you can watch a tutorial, you know, Uniswap V3, it actually allows you to set liquidity in only specified curves. So if I only want to be a liquidity provider, when hex is between, for example, two cents and three cents, I can choose to do that. But, you know, let's just give a visual example because it's a lot easier to understand when you're actually visually seeing something, right? Again, you can also migrate liquidity, but we're not going to do that today. Uh, so you can do add liquidity, and let's say I want to add on the ETH hex pair. So remember, to add liquidity, you need a little bit of each in your wallet, right? You need a little bit of the ETH token and a little bit of the hex token. Because in traditional uh, liquidity providing, like previously, you always had to put up an equal amount on both sides, right? Because that's just how it works, right? You can't just add to one side only. You need to put up an equal amount. So the ETH hex pair is what I want. And it says, you can select your fee tiers, you can select how much you want to get paid. 0 0.05 is best for stablecoin pairs like DAI and USDC, and that's probably because their prices are usually so similar. 1% um, fee for exotic pairs. You know, we're going to do 0.3%. This is best for most pairs, it says. So we should be good with the 0.3%. And we scroll down here and you set your price range, right? Now, this is what they mean by liquidity curves on Uniswap V3. If I wanted the price range of ETH hex to be between, you know, let's say this much and this much, you know, it's kind of handy that they have the current price is actually 117,000 hex per ETH. So I can say I want to set liquidity at around maybe 99,950 to 100,000, right? And it looks like you can notch up by increments of 0.6% at minimum. So it looks like, you know, the tightest I can get that limit or that range is between 99,950 and 100,550. So essentially I'll be buying, you know, somewhere in between this range, which is basically at the price of 100,000 hex per ETH, right? And it might be a little easier for you to imagine with US dollar coin in here. Now remember though, I don't have any US dollar coin in this wallet, but the current price of hex is actually 35 hex per US dollar. If I want to actually switch that around, you know, let's call this hex and let's call the other token USDC, it'll make a little more sense because it'll be the base price. See, the current price of hex and USDC is uh, 2.8 cents. So, you know, I can go ahead and set the minimum here of 2 cents and maybe the maximum here of just over 2 cents. Right, and so this is apparently valid. So when the price of USDC per hex goes in between this, I will have that limit order or that liquidity there to basically snatch it up from whoever. So, so when we say limit order on Uniswap V3, we just really mean narrowing the liquidity curve on being a liquidity provider so much that it essentially becomes a limit order. So, so you can see here I have a balance of zero US dollar coin, but if I did have some US dollar coin, I could say, you know, I want to put maybe a thousand dollars there, right? 
and I have ins insufficient USD balance. But uh, it's pretty straightforward, guys. You just click that button, and then that would execute the, at the price that you want it. Now, you know, Hex ETH is the, you know, the one that I actually have here. So because I have both Hex and ETH here, I can actually set the, the price. Right now we're at, you know, 0 0.00000853 Hex per ETH. And let's say I want to snatch some Hex up at 0 0.0073. And we can just copy this over to this side, maybe raise it a little bit. And so now if I catch some hex, uh, if it goes from 853 to 736 on the ETH pair, you know, I can go ahead and maybe let's say buy $400 worth of hex at that price level. So pretty cool guys. And I can just go ahead and click add and here it'll be the final thing. Uh, and it says we're out of range here. So it says the price of this pool is outside the current selected range. Let's say we still add that anyway. You can see right now, <laughs> $123. So casual $123 worth of gas. If you have the gas to pay for it, this will, this will make more sense for you. For smaller transactions, it probably does not. But, you know, for people to kind of hold up the price at certain levels, especially bigger whales. You know, if you're a big whale and you want to hold up the price at a particular level, feel free to. You know, so... That's how you do it in a nutshell, guys. This is a really short video. I don't have too much time to explain, you know, liquidity curves and all that. But, you know, it's essentially you can think about if the price of something falls in between some range that you want to set, then you're basically saying, okay, go ahead and activate my liquidity. Now I want to be a liquidity provider only within that certain price range. And if that gets really, really tight, it essentially becomes like a limit order. And so that it would be how you do it. Now, gas, guys, gas is still a big old problem. As we can see, so it excludes a lot of, uh, you know, small fish from playing this game. But luckily for us, Pulse Chain is on the way and it will save us all. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned about how to set limit orders or essentially what are limit orders on Uniswap V3. Thanks and I'll see you on the next one.